Yeah, my exposure was a little bit high on that one, but uh, I'm gonna try to bring that down and see how that works out. This woman, uh, I see these two women here, and I'm gonna try to act like I'm taking a picture behind them. So I'm gonna put the camera up vertical first. I actually know I can get it now. What's up, y'all? This is William Mustafa, or works with William Mustafa. I am the Imagineer on Instagram, and today I am out. And I picked up a new lens, a lens that I never really saw myself um, owning, to be honest. I'm looking forward to see exactly how it works. It's a 50 millimeter, and I have a bunch of 50s, but I thought today that maybe I'd go pick up the 50 millimeter 1.8, an autofocus lens. <gasps> Now, I never really use autofocus, but I figure maybe I could use this now just, just as something to go with the kit when I don't have the ability to manually focus as fast as I wanted to. And also, I'm using my new vlogging setup, so I'm going to try to take you guys with me and test out my new lens. If you guys want to see exactly how this works, keep watching. as I possibly can. Yeah. Alright. See this woman staying here. And I'm gonna try to get close to her. Burst on. As I get her in full frame. I'm gonna try this again. I didn't think about going to the other side of her. So let me walk back up to her. Now what I've did is I took my phone out my pocket and I'm trying to get as close as possible. lines I'll try to find the composition and kind of wait for somebody to walk into the composition this yellow line will work but there's nobody coming usually I just stand like this and I'll wait see they're coming oh come on somebody come down here come on somebody Somebody. I mean, that's a good shot, but a little bit too far. Okay. There it goes, see? You're just gonna wait for the right person. You know I mean? Nope, still waiting. Nobody is interesting. Waiting for somebody interesting. There's always people, and there's a girl right here. Maybe I can grab her. I'm gonna act like I'm panning up, and then I'll pan down till I get in and move. I try to get people in their full, full frame, like you know, from bottom to top. I'm not sure if I got that girl in, in uh, the composition, but this is always a good one too here. Everybody coming off of here. Waiting for somebody to step off. No one's coming. No one. 
Alright. try to only kill, I mean shoot what I'm going to eat. But because I'm testing out this lens, I figure I can do a few tests. Now how the way this girl is standing makes me want to go grab her and I am. Let's walk up on her. Yeah, we're here on the bike. So let's see. Excuse me. Yeah. I gotta get scooped back a little bit, that was a little bit too close. I don't want anybody else in the frame. Got him. Uh, it's been a while since I've been shot in Milan in this area. I used to always shoot in this area, but I stopped because I did it so much that I want to get this girl here. As I can say honestly that my hit rate is much higher than it usually is when I'm shooting. Uh, manually, definitely. Okay. I was just walking on the sidewalk for a while. My hat's a little bit crooked. Uh, but I just realized that I have to walk back through the castle. Yeah, I said castle. The castle courtyard to get back to my car. Which is like 15 minutes from the castle. But I don't want to be able not to cut back to the castle and to the park and get my damn car. So I need to head back that direction now. Now I'm walking under these trees and you can see how like the sun kind of cuts through some of these leaves. So I'll probably catch something. Like they would be good, but I'm behind them. So if I can get past them and look back as though I'm looking at something that may work. Now because I'm away for the light to hit her, boom, boom, boom. I don't know if I got it. Old guy walking here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get low real quick and see if I can catch him. Ideally, somebody else was in the frame, so I gotta try it again. Gotta walk up a little further. Find where I want him to walk in front of, frame it up, and then wait for him to walk in front of it. So I'm looking at all this stuff here. This chain may work as far as 
adding a little depth. So let's try it now. Let's try and wait for him. Let's try, come on. I can like probably get his hands with the paper on it. I gotta wait till it swings back. Boom. Boom. One more. And it's really interesting, right? Never even noticed me. That's what street photography is. Being in plain sight, but being unseen. See how close I can get. Pretty close. This couple here is getting on the bike. Oh, they're really good. So let me put my camera back in regular mode and then frame it up. Boom, boom. I don't know exactly what you have here. Close it. It's an interesting car. On a <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> what is it? This is A7S2, a good stuff. Hold on. Yeah, of course. You want the mask? Yeah. No. You want the mask or no? No. And one more. Cool. You oh. have a business card or something? Boom. Got it. Got gotcha. it. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a good one.